What's going on guys? Zorgo Vlogs here and welcome to Super Reese Galaxy Lesson 7.2. Today we're going to be talking about something called Sooslings and then we're also going to be talking about slopes as well. So for a Sooslings So this is how Sooslings work. It's a very interesting concept. So for a Sooslings Basically, we have Sooslings are this idea to where you have something called a shell in the planet of Uranus. What's up, guys? So, if you notice in the video, I call it so in the book, I call it a shim, and in the video, I call it a shell. You can you can use either term. However. The term I'll probably be using on you guys' quizzes and tests will be shim, but basically they're the same thing, but it'll just be like one shim equals blank feet. You'll probably see a question like that. I won't do the thing where it's like 10 feet equals like shill or shim. Like whatever you, like whatever term you know, basically, it's just as long as you know the ratio is 10 feet is in one shim, then you're good. Just, I mean, but just understand that shim and shill, they're the same thing. Just wanted to point that out. Uranus, one shill is equal to 10 feet. So, suppose, for example, that we have a rock wall that is eight shills tall. And basically you have a Sousling that is right here. It's 15 shells away. So basically, if you have the Sousling right here, what you want to do is be able to launch your Sousling in such a way where the direction of it will make a triangle. So, the first, literally, the, one of the first lessons that we had for this book was Pythagorean Theorem. If you recognize this as a Pythagorean triple, you would instantly get that this is 17. However, for a Sousling, you can only type in one character. The numbers have to be in between 10 to 35, but you are only allowed to use one character. So we don't, well, 17 has to be written as two characters because one and seven. Well, that's not true because remember, we learned about Alex's algorithm. So Alex's algorithm is this idea that you use letters for bases. So for Alex's algorithm, you can subtract 9 from 17, and you have 8. The 8th letter of the alphabet would be H. So basically, you would type in H to the Sousling. Now, let's review some properties of Sousling's. A Sousling can actually be moved over, like you can move it. It's portable, right? Now, there's another concept that we can talk about as well slope so what is the slope of the trip to find the slope of the trip we take rise over run so basically your height divided by your distance so 8 out of 15 is the slope of a trip so remember sooslings can be moved and they can only be used with like the the one character idea now how about we try a different example let's go ahead and try Hmm, let me think of a good one. Let's let's do a more basic one. So imagine that a rock wall is three shells tall. Now we need to find a figure out the distance that a, a Sousling will have to shoot in order for the distance of a trip to be or the slope of a trip to be three fourths. So, in this case here, if we if we need to get a slope of three fourths, we know that its height is this first number, and then the distance is four. So we need to have the Sousling, we need to move the Sousling four shells this way. Now, if we had a five here, so in a Sousling, you would not have numbers this small, but just to make Pythagorean theorem easy, you would just say it's like this. However, 
let's just suppose that we have new new numbers to work with. If we have, basically, let's just say that we did 9 and 12. That would be 15. And your ratio would still be 3, 4. So just that, that number divided by that number. So, if you had that, if, you're, if your height was 9, so 15 minus 9 would be 6. So that would be, in Alex's algorithm, you would type in F. F would be what you would type in. And that would make a closed and complete triangle. So that is the properties of Suslings and slope. Just remember that slope is basically, let's just say that, just make it easier, just look at that triangle, it's x over y, and that's it. That's the slope of a trip. The trip is this guy here. Anyways, this is Largo Vlogs, and I'll see you guys next time.